Hi, Miss Neville Science students. Man, have I missed seeing each of you in live sessions. And next week's gonna be even weirder as Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Miss Neville is still training more teachers. So next Thursday, we're gonna have a full 76 minute live session to kind of make up for the five classes, five live sessions that Miss Neville has missed with each of you. Next week, um, I've seen that a lot of you have been working on assignments, getting them done, and I could not be more proud of you. Great job. This time with no live sessions and not many new assignments being assigned is a perfect time for a lot of you to get caught up on some missing assignments you have in your orange, blue, or purple folders, or even green folders. We want to make sure that we're prepared for next week as you have a project, your first project. Now for my Science 1 students, you'll be working in partners, but my Science 2 students, most of you will be working on your own. So when you go into our green folder that says weeks 15 through 16 in our science class, you're gonna click on this document climate in South Carolina. What we're gonna be doing is a project, a research project where you and your partner, or if you're being told to work on your own, you by yourself will be working um, to study the climate in a state in the United States of your choosing. You cannot do South Carolina, as Ms. Neville's already done South Carolina as your example. So let's work through what you'll actually be doing. You're gonna have three class days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week to either work with your partner or work on your own during our assigned science time to um, complete a packet, okay? You're gonna create your own packet. And what I've done here is created an example packet for you to look at. Within this packet, you're gonna find out how much each part of this packet weighs. So how much is each part of the packet worth? Well, how many points? Um, and what you're supposed to do. It's also gonna be important that you watch this recorded um, video, kind of like a tutorial to help you to be prepared. So you should have a title page with a picture of your state and you can just go in Google images and um, copy and paste a picture there. You're gonna write climate in your state, okay? You don't need to have title page five points here. That's just me telling you that this title page is worth five points. You're also gonna wanna to make sure that you complete, you tell me who's this, who this belongs to at the bottom. So if I was working with a partner, I would write down my partner's name in my packet as well. But if I'm working alone, I'm just going to write my name, okay? So then page two, you're gonna talk about which climate zone your um, state is in. So if I'm doing the state of Montana, Montana's gonna be in that polar zone. So I wanna show a picture of Montana in the polar zone, along with a sentence that explains which climate zone my state is in. You can keep that same question there that Ms. Neville's had and just delete all of my stuff and enter your own information about your state. The second part you're gonna answer is what kind of severe weather does your state encounter? When I say severe weather, I'm talking about bad weather, weather that they close schools for. So does your state have a lot of snowstorms, a lot of flooding? a lot of hurricanes or tornadoes or earthquakes, that's severe weather. You're gonna tell me what kind of severe weather your state has and why your state has that severe weather. Then you need to be able to put a picture here basically of your state experiencing that, that severe weather. So if I were to choose Alabama, Alabama's known for tornadoes, I would put a picture here of Alabama with a really bad tornado coming through on a weather map, possibly. Just like Ms. Neville did with South Carolina, and we experience a lot of hurricanes because of the coastline that we have. So you're gonna be doing severe weather in your state. 
you have to have a picture there and you have to tell me in a complete sentence with a capital letter at the top in the um, beginning of your sentence and punctuation at the end of your sentence. Going back up to this first question, you also need to have a picture here, okay? You need to have the question here, a sentence answering the question, and a picture. Then you're going to tell us about your um, the seasons. What is the average temperature in each season for your state? So in South Carolina, and this is going to be worth 40, 30 points, in South Carolina, and I just made a chart here, you can use my same chart, in South Carolina, you would write down, you could Google what is the average temperature in the state that you choose in the summer. You're gonna ask Google the same question for spring, winter, and autumn. I would type in autumn, not fall. I didn't get good results when I did fall. I would say the average temperature in autumn, okay? Everything Miss Neville has here is spelled correctly. You also want to make sure that your spelling is, is correct because points will be lost for incorrect spellings and incomplete sentences. You're then going to tell me how much precipitation, is that rain or snow, how much precipitation do your, does your state usually get in a year? So, and this is worth 20 points. So South Carolina, because we're really close to the tropical zone, we don't get a lot of snow, but we do get plenty of rain. So um, the average rainfall in South Carolina in a year is usually 45 to 80 inches. And for snow, it's about one inch of snow on average for a whole year. I, I've typed these questions into Google and wrote the answers in my report. Now, a question that I know I'm going to get a lot is, can we do this in the form of a PowerPoint? No, because what you're going to be doing is submitting this as a report, as a Word document, as a report back into Schoology. Let's see how to do that. So once I've done my report on South Carolina, I'm then going to go back to my Schoology page. And over here on the left side, I'm going to click the blue button that says Submit, Upload, and once I've saved my document, I'm going to upload it there. If you have any more questions after you've watched this video, please reach out to Miss Neville through email. Bye guys, see everyone in person live next Thursday. Bye.